The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome to another QuoWest 101, our regular series of short presentations giving you hints and tips for getting the most out of QuoWorks. And in this session, I'm going to cover how to create new product databases. So hello, my name is Tim Wilmot and my company with the systems, we're a specialist CRM solutions provider who help out mainly small and mid-sized organizations improve their sales productivity, marketing and customer service through the use of simple and affordable software solutions like QuoWorks. Now this presentation will be about 10 minutes or so in duration, just an overview of this feature, not meant to be in-depth training. My company, with the Systems, offer many extensive training options if you need them. The audio part of this presentation is one way only. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel. I'll do my best to answer those at the end. Also, I'll be giving you an update on any quote work product news as of December 2020. And for those listening live, this call is being recorded. After the presentation, you will get an email from our system with a link to recording, and it will be up on our YouTube channel as well. Okay, so just a brief mention about Wizard Systems. We're a leading provider of QuoteWorks. We have been providing QuoteWorks solutions for well over 15 years now. We provide the complete service around QuoteWorks, the software, upgrades, updates, implementation, training, and help desk support. Okay, so let's get into QuoteWorks then and how to create a new product database. First of all, before we get into that, why would you want to? When you create, when you actually implement QuoteWorks day one, you get a built-in QuoteWorks product price list already. That is the heart of QuoteWorks, the information on your products and services. But there may be certain situations where you do want to create separate price lists, separate product databases, which QuoteWorks allows you to do. You don't need to ram everything into one humongous, um, one single product file. So for example, if you've got a few major suppliers with lots of products that you get from those suppliers, it could be easier and there are some functions of QuoteWorks that would be advantageous for you in comparing prices between different suppliers for one product. But it's a good idea to have um, those, if you've got rather large product ranges from different suppliers, have them as separate product databases in your QuoteWorks system. Uh, secondly, when you in integrate QuoteWorks with a number of leading CRMs, some of those CRM solutions will have a product um, database capability like Autotask and Salesforce, for example. So that could be another reason why you want to uh, create another product source. And thirdly, you may have your data in another application. Your product and prices may be in another application like, for example, Sage 50. So it is possible with QuoteWorks, depending on the addition that you've got, to create a live link into an existing product database, whether it be Sage 50, another, another database application, or even Excel. So to create a new database is very, very simple. You just go to your products menu and down to set up product sources. So here's the existing one that you start off with, probably called our products. We want to create a new product database. So there's a little wizard here that will take us through step by step, very simply to create this new um, product source, this new product database. Well, the first question is, um, what will be the database type? The default is QuoteWorks. So um, this will create it within the QuoteWorks application. Um, you can create that if you want to, but click on the drop, drop, drop down list. There's the, others, there's the other options for you. Some of the other CRMs, um, different database sources, ODBC, which typically you would use for 
connecting, say, to an accounting application. There are some in there for other accounting applications as well um, and other CRMs. For this little session, I'm going to select QuoWorks as the default database type. So we click Next. And we're just confirming here that we are going to create a native QuoteWorks database rather than linking to one maybe I've created previously. So I'm creating a new one. There are some additional options here for defining menu items when you right click over a product, for example, um, launching some document or another application or some other resource and a few other options that you may want to consider there in the in the way that this new product database will function. So I'm pretty much done. I click on finish. Now I give the database a name, how I might recognize it, how my users, my colleagues will see it in a product database list. So maybe I'm doing this I'm creating these different product databases by supplier. So I type in my supplier name there. And then um, deep down in the QuoteWork system, I need to give it a database name, which may be used by the administrator for certain purposes. So click that there. And that is it. The new database has been created called Supplier A, and that will now be available to me when I do product searches, if I go to my product database here, there's my existing product database I start off with. And here is the new one here, obviously blank because I haven't put any new products into it. But I would now start adding in items, creating folders and so on. So that's it then, a very easy way of creating a new product database in your QuoteWorks system. Uh, for those listening live, if you've got any questions around this topic, please type those into the question section. I'll do my best to answer those. Um, so first question from Taylor. When you do an import, how can you easily select the right database for the data? So that would be, well, that's in the import wizard. When uh, QuoteWorks gives you a really easy way of importing fresh products into, into QuoteWorks from a CSV type file. Uh, the import wizard will, I'm not sure exactly what step it is, but it will ask you for the target or where is this data going to be imported into. So you will see that on the import wizard. Uh, Vanessa, can you prevent users from creating own files. Yes, you can. In the user access options of QuoteWorks, you can disable a user or user's ability to create these product source, the, these um, product databases and sources. So no problem at all. In fact, there's lots of other security things that you can implement there around product creation and so on. Right, don't think there's any more questions. Thanks very much, the two of you. Latest news then. Well, our training is still all online right now until it's safe for us to go out and about or invite people into our QuoteWorks training center. Uh, so please contact us for details on any training you might want right now. The latest build of QuoteWorks as of December 2020 is version 5.6 build 1.03. Um, the only way of getting those updates is to have a QuoteWorks upgrade maintenance program, or UMP for short. Uh, please contact with Systems for any information on that to get your annual subscription and get these valuable updates to QuoteWorks. So that's it uh, done for this session, this event on how to create a new product database. If you've got any suggestions for future topics, please email them to me, tim at wizard-systems.com. But thanks very much for those of you listening live. Thanks for watching this and catch up with you on the next event.